Have you ever pondered what secrets the ancient city of Petra, Jordan, might hold? Nestled amid rugged desert canyons and mountains, this archaeological wonder whispers tales of a time long past. Petra, often referred to as the Rose City due to the color of the stone from which it is carved, is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of a civilization lost in the sands of time. Like an artist's masterpiece etched onto the canvas of the earth, Petra stands in the southern part of Jordan, a country rich with history and culture. Its exact origins, however, remain shrouded in mystery. Some believe that it was established as early as the 4th century BC, while others argue that its roots stretch even further back into the mists of time. What we do know is that Petra's grandeur, preserved over millennia, continues to captivate us with its allure. The city's intricate architecture, carved directly from the mountainsides, tells a story of a people skilled beyond their time. These were the Nabataeans, traditionally thought to have been the masterminds behind Petra's construction. This ancient civilization, once nomadic, settled in the region, transforming an inhospitable desert landscape into a bustling metropolis. The Nabataeans were more than mere architects. They were traders, diplomats and engineers who managed to harness the scarce desert water through a complex network of dams, channels and reservoirs. This, coupled with their strategic location along the trade routes, allowed them to thrive in a region where survival was a constant challenge. Their legacy, the city of Petra, is a testament to their resilience and innovation. Its magnificent structures, such as al Khazne or the Treasury, and the Monastery, are marvels that continue to astonish archaeologists and visitors alike. But who exactly were the Nabataeans? And how did they manage to carve out an existence, let alone an entire city, in such a harsh environment? The story of Petra begins with the Nabataeans, a nomadic tribe that rose to prominence in the region. As we peel back the layers of history, let's delve deeper into the lives of these remarkable people and the enigmatic city they left behind. The Nabataeans, a nomadic tribe, found a home amidst the rugged desert cliffs. These people, whose origins remain shrouded in mystery, stumbled upon a barren, inhospitable landscape and saw an opportunity. They envisioned a sanctuary, a fortress hidden from the prying eyes of the world and so began the rise of the Nabataeans. The barren cliffs of southern Jordan's desert were an unlikely place for a civilization to flourish. But the Nabataeans, with their indomitable spirit and tenacity, turned these cliffs into a canvas for their architectural prowess. With nothing more than rudimentary tools and their bare hands, they carved the city of Petra out of the rock. This monumental feat not only showcased their remarkable skill, but also their vision and determination. The result was a city of unparalleled beauty, its grandeur echoing through the ages. But the Nabataeans were not just skilled architects. Their true genius lay in their ability to adapt and thrive in a harsh desert environment. They developed an intricate and sophisticated water management system, capturing every precious drop of the sparse rainfall. This system, complete with dams, channels and reservoirs, ensured a steady supply of water throughout the year, making life possible in the heart of the desert. The Nabataeans were also master traders, their city Petra becoming a crucial junction for the silk and spice routes that linked China, India, Egypt, Greece and Rome. This strategic location, coupled with their control over the water resources, cemented their power and wealth. The Nabataeans, once a nomadic tribe, were now masters of a thriving city, their influence spreading far and wide. Their story serves as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. In the face of adversity, they not only survived but thrived, creating a civilization that would leave its mark on history. Through their ingenuity, the Nabataeans transformed a desolate desert into a thriving city. At its peak, Petra was a bustling metropolis, a testament to the Nabataeans' skill and vision. Indeed, this city carved from stone was more than just an architectural marvel. It was a hub of trade and culture, a testament to the ingenuity of its builders. 
The golden age of Petra, from the 1st century BC to the 1st century AD, was a time of remarkable growth and prosperity. It was during this period that the Nabataeans transformed Petra from a mere caravan stop into a vibrant city of breathtaking beauty and economic significance. The city's architectural wonders, carved directly into the rose-red cliffs, are an awe-inspiring testament to the Nabataeans' advanced engineering skills. The iconic treasury, or al Khazne, with its ornate façade towering over 40 metres high, is a remarkable example of these. Not far from it stands the larger yet equally impressive monastery, an architectural feat that reflects the city's rich cultural heritage. But Petra was not just a city of beautiful buildings, it was a bustling trade hub, strategically located at the crossroads of important trade routes that linked China, India, Egypt, Greece and Rome. The Nabataeans capitalised on this advantageous position, establishing Petra as a vital centre for the trade of frankincense, myrrh and spices. This golden age also saw a flourishing of culture in Petra. The city was a melting pot of traditions and influences, from the Greco-Roman architecture to the local Bedouin customs. The Nabataeans were not just skilled architects and traders, they were also artists, poets and philosophers, adding a rich layer of cultural depth to their thriving city. Yet perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Petra's golden age was how the city seemed to defy its harsh desert surroundings. With an ingenious water management system, the Nabataeans turned this rugged landscape into a thriving metropolis, a beacon of civilization in the heart of the desert. Petra was a beacon of civilization in the heart of the desert, a city that seemed to defy the harshness of its surroundings. A testament to the Nabataeans' skill and vision, Petra remains a symbol of human resilience and ingenuity, a city whose golden age continues to inspire us today. But like all great cities, Petra too would face its decline. The downfall of Petra was a combination of both natural and man-made factors. The city's economic prosperity was largely due to its strategic position on lucrative trade routes. However, the winds of change began to blow. The rise of sea trading routes undermined Petra's overland trade monopoly. As goods began to flow around the Arabian Peninsula, Petra's importance dwindled. The city's wealth, once overflowing, began to ebb away, leaving a vulnerable city in its wake. The second blow came with the Roman annexation. In the first century AD, the Roman Empire, in its quest for expansion, absorbed Petra. The Nabataeans were now Roman subjects, their city a mere province in a vast empire. The Romans brought with them their architectural style, which gradually replaced the unique Nabataean structures. The identity of Petra was slowly but surely being erased. As centuries passed, Petra's fortunes continued to wane. The city that once thrived with life and commerce started to show signs of decay. The buildings, once magnificent, now stood like silent witnesses to the city's past glory. The bustling streets became quieter, and the vibrant city life began to fade. In the 4th century AD, a massive earthquake struck Petra, causing extensive damage. This was the final blow to the city. The few remaining inhabitants were forced to leave, abandoning the once vibrant city to the ravages of time and nature. Petra, once a bustling metropolis, was now a ghost town. For centuries the city was forgotten. Its grandeur, its history, its very existence slipped into oblivion. The sandstorms of time swept over the forgotten city, hiding it away from the world. Petra, once a beacon of civilization, was now lost in the annals of history. Once a vibrant city, Petra slowly faded into oblivion, its grandeur forgotten. Lost to the sands of time, Petra lay hidden until the 19th century. This enigmatic city was shrouded in mystery, its existence known only in ancient texts and local folklore, until Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burkhardt stumbled upon it in the year 1812. Disguised as an Arab traveller, Burkhardt persuaded his guide to take him to the ruins, thus unveiling Petra's grandeur to the Western world. Following this remarkable rediscovery, Petra sparked curiosity and fascination among explorers and scholars alike. Expeditions were launched, archaeologists descended, and slowly the ancient city began to reveal its secrets. From the ornate tombs carved into rose-red cliffs to the intricate water conduit system, 
each discovery painted a vivid picture of a civilization that was both technologically advanced and artistically sophisticated. Yet, the archaeological work in Petra is far from over. With 70% of the city still buried underground, each new excavation brings us one step closer to understanding the enigma that is Petra. As the years roll on, the city continues to yield new clues about the life and culture of the Nabataeans, their architectural prowess, and their ingenious adaptation to the harsh desert environment. In 1985, Petra was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to its historical significance and architectural beauty. A couple of decades later, in 2007, its fame reached new heights when it was voted as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. These accolades have not only cemented Petra's place in history, but have also sparked a renewed interest in its preservation and study. Today, Petra stands as a monument to a bygone era, its sandstone walls whispering tales of a glorious past. As we delve deeper into its history, we are continually reminded of the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit. Petra, once lost and forgotten, has risen from the sands of time to tell its story, a story that continues to unfold with each passing day.